Hey guys, welcome back to another video this week, and this one is just more like, you know, interjecting life stories with trying to give some advice. So, um, this one is mainly about the fear, long-term fear I had with the concept of change. Now, to give you some context in the sense of like, um, for the last month or two, a lot of, there's been big changes, or even like the last couple of weeks there's been like major changes in the sense of like the household and my sister's moving now to, you know, you know she's, you know, she's moving on with her life, you know, you know, things are changing around the house and all that, you know. And it was weird because like, not in the sense of weird like, oh, she's leaving because, you know, who cares. But it was more like I was expecting at some, at some point to have this overarching fear come, come over me, you know, because like I've never been one to exactly like change that much you know I've, I've always questioned it I've always disliked it like like I mean I've always thought it was just like a normal thing but most people like most people don't like change they, they like things to have the norm it's one of the excuses I had with terms of the um of me not looking for work for the last you know, couple months was because I like the idea of having a bit of normalcy you know where I had the promotional work on one side that earned me money but I also had the um the radio gig you know and the and the concept of ch and the concept of change, you know, prevented me from like finding more work in that area, you know, from progressing forward. But um, I don't know. It's it's one of those weird things where like that hasn't happened to me recently. Not in the sense of like overarching fear, but more like I'm not like yeah. You know, there are some things where I'm like okay, you know, that's things will be slightly different. But then I'm like, eh, what's the what's the difference? Yeah, it's not gonna like be so huge that it's gonna like change my overall life or it's gonna make me question my life decisions. That's actually one of the weird problems I had when, whenever something changed. I would always question where I was in my life. You know, they'd be like, oh my God, is this where things are changing so fast? Is this, where, is this what's happening to me? Is this what's gonna be like? You know, all that crap. And then it would take me a minute to calm down. Yeah, in other, in other words. One good interesting story of how I did that was when um, during my, one of my last jobs when I was at Fix Radio and um, the, my employer, Jan Janice, who was very lovely and will always be the day she dies, that, um, that she told me during one day of work that, I think it was around maybe last year, December, November, December maybe, that the, com that the company was going to shut down its, you know, the, its, its um, promotional department or pretty much everything and just re try and like do more internal work for like the next year, like for January to March. So that basically meant that like, everyone doing the promotional work, i.e. me, was being laid off for a while, you know? And I'll be quite honest, I did not take it rather well, you know, for like an hour or so whilst I was in the van doing the work, I would just sulk. I would just go, oh, damn it, you know, like, because it was one of those weird things where it was just like, it was one of the first proper job in the sense of, in the actual industry I wanted to do, which was radio. It was in... First proper job where I got earned a good amount of money in that area and I felt slightly comfortable and then it suddenly was taken away from me without choice, you know? Yeah, and, and Janet was, was, God help me, she was supportive in the sense of like, she calmed me down. She was like, yeah, it's okay, you know, that things happen. You, know, you can't always be, you, you can't always like just be comfortable in things. Some things are gonna change. And I just didn't want to hear it. I was just like, oh, damn it. I was so, you know, the, you know I worked it too hard. You know, I, I, I just got comfortable like not having to like look for work every single day, having to worry about like job interviews and such. And then, you know, when I finally get a job, that job like that, I actually you know, like that I could build up in the radio industry, it gets taken away from me like that. And I was just sulking. And you know, I, I look back on that, that's just been like, man, I was, all, man, that was whiny of me, you know? Because for one thing, Janice helped me with my new, my new job and she got me like um, a reference to the new one. To which point, even by when the company actually did fold, I was fine. You know, I was like, okay, all right, well, you know, I I hope this comes up again because it was it was good money. It was a nice job for for the most part, even though most of it was doing generation leads, which I absolutely hated. You know, you know, and I have to see it again. But if if it's not, then it's not. And so far now, it's just about to be June, and it hasn't come up. So I'm like, okay, fine. It was gone. You know, and. I don't know, like, it was, it's always strange to me, just, like, how big moments like that, I always expect to be sulking, and right now, or even like, such big changes right now, I'm thinking, like, 
I just have to remind myself to calm myself down a little bit, but I'm not like overly sulking like the other nights before. One of the only few times I was actually okay with proper change was like the time I left the university, which was incredibly scary. Because like, it's, it's one of those weird things that people don't talk about so much, where it's like you, you get like your results in like May or June, whatever, and then you have like two, two or three months where just nothing happens, because you know, what could you do? And then it comes to like September, October, during like the final week or the day that my family drove me down to my to the my my room in my university where they unpacked my stuff and I was still expecting like I was gonna hate it I was expecting the moment where I was just gonna be like oh god this is gonna this is gonna suck I'm gonna be on my own yeah, yeah, yeah there's there's nothing there I'm gonna be stuck in a school for best by year I'm gonna have no one there to support me I'm gonna do you know whatever and then when it came to buy, when it came to be like the goodbyes from my mum and dad, you know, and everyone else, it was just like, okay, you know, yeah, hugs and goodbyes. Your mum saying that, oh, she'll call me every day, which you know, as she is, <laughs> and then they left. And for like a, f it was literally one of those the moment they drove off, I was expecting like to be like, okay, this is when the panic's gonna come in, and it just didn't. It was like a nice calm of like, okay, so, this is, this is where it is now. This is my life right now, and it's not gonna do. It's not gonna change too much, but it's a nice change. And yeah, that that was one of the weird occurrences in my life. Where like I wish for other moments. I wish I had that attitude when I lost my when I lost my fixed radio job. So yeah, you know, just that moment of like, okay, be a clarity, but just carry on forward. That's just it. And that's sort of what I'm feeling now with my recent change. Where it's like you know, my sister's in my house. It'll just be my dad and me, and then like, I'll change rooms because that'll be quite nice. And they'll just be like, you know, and then you know, parents are talking about, oh, we need to redecorate everything, you know, you know, redecorate the whole house. And it's just like, okay, well, yeah, it's going to feel slightly weird, but it's not going to like change a huge dynamic. You know, I also get thinking like, oh my God, well, this is my life now. And I'm thinking like, I'm in my, I'm in my, I'm in my mid twenties, you idiot. You know, what are you talking about? You know, because for some reason, I don't know why that was in my head. Yeah, just to be like, oh my god, my life, my life's over, I'm stuck here forever, yeah, but my sister's leaving, what about me? I'm thinking like, what the... Yeah, that was like a brief five seconds before my rest of my, my before, before the rest of my brain was like, what the fuck are you talking about, you know? You're doing, you're doing okay, right? You're, do, you're doing fine, you know? Get away, get to the, you know, continue with your work, continue your build up, and then, you know, soon you will leave. You will leave your house, you'll, have, you'll find your own place. That's actually one of the nice benefits of like with the university was that for like four years I was comfortable on my own, in the sense of like I've always been used to being on my own, but in the sense of like having an actual house just be there on my own where if like no one to like actually rely on that much. So yeah, it reminded me just to be like if, if yeah when I I say if when I eventually do move out I'll be like okay that's fine that's it you know it's not gonna be a huge change. So. I don't know, I mean, I, I just want to vent out my, my thoughts to you to be like, is, has this happened to you? Where it's just like, certain moments where it's just like, you, you give in to that fear of just like, oh god, I hate change, I hate having to do things recently, you know? I hate having to like, make a quick change because I was comfortable, you know? Because I mean, recently, like, I started looking for work again, I started looking for like, more promotional stuff and more radio jobs. And that wasn't like a sigh of, you know, of, of defeat to be like, oh, well, my, my current job's not working now, I'm, I have to do this. It was more like, no, no, you know, this is a change I want. This is a change I think, like, yeah, you know, I'm not giving up my on, on the place I work with. No, there's no point in doing that right now. But it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that I should limit my options anymore. You know, it doesn't mean that, like, just because I'm comfortable in one place doesn't mean I should feel solely comfortable in it, you know? That I can move, that I can, you can do other things, but still feel comfortable doing it, you know? Yeah, just because I'm looking for other places that potentially will give me better op opportunities doesn't mean I'm, like, throwing that other one away. You know? It, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those weird moments where I have to remember that change is good. I just have to remind myself once in a while, you know, whenever I do that. Because that fear will always be there with me. It, it was much worse when I was a kid, when there were like big things would happen and I'd, be, and I'd panic over it, over it in my head numerous times. Like, I'm like, even when, even when mom, my mum and dad changed the living room, room set around, I freaked out because I was like, oh my God, things are changing too fast. And it was like, you know, I would just be like, what the hell are you talking about? It's a fan. It's like, it's sofas, leave it alone. 
and and you know, or when when my beds changed, or like you know, or when I changed schools, it was like you know, I would always panic over it because I because I was always comfortable with not changing. But yeah, and I know that the, the fear will always be there, but it doesn't. But it's not going to be like a huge thing over my head. It'll just be like a silent. Okay, this is slightly scary. It doesn't mean it's going to affect my life. It'll just be like, all right, that that that's it. You know, I'm an adult. You know, I just. It's not like I'm not part of the change itself in terms of like I have no choice in the matter, you know? I'm a part of it, I get to choose what I want to do, I get to see what happens, that's just that. So yeah, that's just what this really wanted to be, <laughs> what I wanted it to be about, just me talking to you guys about how I felt about set, about change as a, con as a concept. Anyway guys, that's it, I hope you like this one, sorry it's a long one, I hope sorry it was a bit of a bore, but you know, sometimes it is just that, you don't always get new reviews and just nice editing, editing clips. But again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe. I hope you, you know, feel the same way in terms of what I felt about change. And again, I shall see you next week with a brand new video. Cheers, guys. Bye.